God damn. God damn, baby girl. Mm. Look at that ass. Oh, two in the pink, one in the stink. <laughs> and I just fingered my fucking bike. Nice, nice. God, it is such a fucking nice day. It hasn't been this nice in a while. So a uh, question a lot of my uh, subscribers and friends, just people I've met, have been asking me a lot ever since I started riding is, how the fuck did I convince my parents to let me get a damn bike? Do they not care? I mean, do they just not give a shit that their son could die? Uh, no, that's not the answer. Um, so just growing up, I've been in the cars and all that. And actually, when I uh, <laughs> I was actually 16, I had a truck, and how um, it was lifted and all that stuff. I, it was modified and all that junk. And I actually wanted to. Um, start riding when I was 16. So uh, I researched it, uh, saw some cool bikes that I could afford, not really, my parents would have to buy it for me. Um, and I'm in high school, keep in mind at the time. And uh, yeah, so I uh, go up my parents with the proposal for the idea uh, for them to buy me a motorcycle uh, at 16. And uh, I would tow it around on my, uh, my truck. I had everything planned out. It was great. I told them I could go get my permit without taking any classes or anything. Uh, they weren't too happy with that. They weren't, um, yeah, basically their response was, uh, fuck no. They were like, hell the fuck no, you're not getting a motorcycle while you live under my house, under my, uh, roof. So as long as you're living with us, you are not getting a motorcycle. Uh, I took it kind of hard <laughs> at the time, but I mean, I wasn't complaining. Um, and I'm very thankful they actually told me fuck no. So, basically, uh, that just shot down my dreams for a very long time. And about when I turned 21 in college, um, I've been working, I had my own money, um, and well, one of the things when my dad did tell me no at 16, he was uh, saying, when you move out and you can buy it yourself, and you're 21, and you still want a motorcycle, you can do it then. But I'm not going to support you, I'm not going to help you out, you're going to have to do it all on your own. And. You know, after that, I was like, okay, whatever. So I turned 21, I moved out uh, at college, and I decided I want a motorcycle. So, uh, yeah, I had my own money, got paid the insurance myself, paid for the bike myself, paid for my learning, uh, my MSF myself, paid for my license myself, did all that. And no regrets. That's how I started riding. But the logic behind all that and why I'm so happy they told me, no, don't start riding at 16. Like, it basically got rid of the whole spur of the moment, I want a motorcycle thing. It basically became something I knew that I was either gonna really love or that I really wanted and I could research it for a much longer time so by the time I was 21 I've been thinking about this for five years now four years now and um, you know I made an educated decision and on top of that at 16 you know you're just starting to drive cars and you drive them fast and do stupid things and just stupid stupid 
stupid things, and I still do. But anyways, at 21 you make better decisions. I think that's why the drinking age is 21, nah? I don't know. Or nah, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, basically my parents were, you have to do it on your own, and uh, we're not gonna help you, because they, they weren't too big on the, uh, the idea of me getting a motorcycle. As any parent would. I mean, it, it's kind of scary. Um, they have a lot of trust in me. I've always had, my parents have always trusted me a lot. I've been a pretty responsible person. Like, they never really pushed me to do good in school. I always pushed myself to be good in school. Um, I would never, I was never got caught with any drugs. I never really did any drugs. Uh, I've always had a good head on my shoulders. Um, and they're pretty lucky for that. I've been pretty problem free for my parents. But, yeah. So that's that, guys. That's how I convinced my parents to get, let me get a bike. Alrighty guys, on that note, I'm about to just drive off into the middle of fucking nowhere in a good old South Georgia. I don't even know where the fuck I am. Like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. On that note, Rusty R1 out. <laughs>